What is up guys? Today I'm working in the house. Uh, the dishwasher quit working. Um, wasn't draining anymore. So I took it apart. I thought maybe the pump had gone bad. And sure enough, when I took it apart, here is the old pump here. And you can see the impellers are all gone. And here's the new pump here. Nice long full impellers on it. Um, and what had happened was a piece of glass had gotten down into the pump and chewed the impellers all up and you can see it actually chewed the body up and everything on the pump. So I went ahead and I put the new pump in, put it all back together, and it still wasn't fully draining or pumping really good. So I took it all back apart again and started looking at it really close and I realized that here, this is where the pump locks in, okay? And the body of the pump, I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but the body of the pump is all chewed up and everything too and it had increased that tolerance so much between the impellers and the body of the pump that it couldn't really pump it out it was just kind of swishing the water around you know pumping it out in little spurts so normally you would have to replace this whole pump assembly this whole thing because there's no way like no parts to repair this so I started thinking about it and looking at it and trying to figure out what I could do and what I came up with is this and it's just a little shim that I'm going to stick inside of there to close that tolerance up uh, between the impellers and the pump body and what it is is I just cut off um, one of the coupler ends off of a piece of inch and a half ABS I just nibbed it right off at the bevel um, right here you can see that little bevel right there just nibbed it off right there belt sanded it down smooth um, and then I cut an inch and a half out of it from side to side you can see that right there and then what it's gonna do basically is shove in you can just squeeze it and shove it in there and the reason I cut that inch and a half out by the way is not just so that I could get it in there but so that the water can still discharge through the exit right here so see how that's gonna work that's gonna close up that tolerance um, between the impellers and the body so I just want to share that real quick with you guys in case you have a similar situation so it's just a ABS coupler cut it off smooth it down and it fits right inside there perfectly so I'm gonna put it back together and um, I'll let you know if it works or not and if it does I'll put it in the con comments alright thanks for watching guys have a great day